Well, here at CTV Ottawa, we like to answer those tough questions in life, like what does a thousand pound piece of cheese really look like? Why would someone buy one? And who would drive seven hours just to see it? A thousand pound piece of provolone. A provolone was shipped to Nicastro's on Maryville Road today. And for 82 year old Anthony LaFrisco of Connecticut, it was a very special moment. CTV's Eric Longley has our cheesiest story of the night. It took five men just to get it off the truck. For a piece of cheese, it's heavy. Very heavy. It's the annual delivery of the thousand pound provolone to Nicastro's Italian Food Emporium. Every year, the store has the $18,000 cheese specially shipped from Northern Italy. It's a Christmas tradition yeah. in our family and uh, we want to pass to our customer in Ottawa. But this year is extra special. Anthony LaFrisco drove seven hours from Connecticut just for this moment. And yes, he knows how crazy that sounds. Sounds kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Looking at it, cheese is a great moment, but it is. <laughs> The 82-year-old is writing a cookbook based on recipes and memories of growing up in Brooklyn with his Italian family. And one of his fondest is as a 12-year-old when he saw a thousand-pound provolone at a local store. And I never forgot that image. I had that image in my mind for the last seven years. I never thought I would ever see it again. That's until a Google search turned up Nicastro's cheesy tradition. LaFrisco actually stopped the printing of his book just to be here. So, to the special guest, goes the first taste. This is really great cheese. Great cheese and the final chapter to a priceless memory. You have certain memories when you're, when you're a real youngster, and some things bring those memories back to you. In my case, it happens to be a thousand pound cheese. What can I tell you? <laughs> Eric Longley, CTV News.